let's start our time together just by settling in. So let's take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it for a second or two and feel your shoulders as you're holding it. Feel your shoulders, feel your neck, and as you exhale, allow them to relax. And take another deep breath in. And exhale it through your mouth. And then another deep breath in through your nose. And exhale it and relax. And let's place our, plant, our palms gently together and softly rub our fingers against the stars. Good morning, Dido. And feel the tingling in your fingers and feel the tingling in your palms. Bring yourself present to this moment and welcome. I'm so glad to have this time with you. Today, I want to speak about breakdown. Uh, so many of us are navigating challenging times and uh, we're doing a lot of conversation about reframing and reframing is creating a new context for interpreting our experience. So if we talk about breakdown uh, versus upset or crisis or uh, I'm not sure whatever kinds of negative uh, nomenclature we can use to describe our challenges challenges versus problems, breakdown uh, also versus problems. Breakdown is when things are just not going the way that we want them to go or we anticipated that they would go and uh, we feel less than resourceful and people tend, we tend to look at breakdown as a problem. And I'm going to invite you to look at breakdown as the threshold to new possibility. So, uh, for example, uh, you, may, you may have heard that breakdown is the prelude to breakthrough. And when we look at the notion of breakdown, uh, it means that things aren't going the way we want them to. And what's happening is that we're having an emotional response to it, feeling frustrated, angry. Uh, what we can look at is that rather than making the reality, making our breakdown into our reality, like the way that things are, what we can look at is that the breakdown is a transitional state of change and that it's necessary for certain structures emotionally or in, in, the, in the world, we're seeing a lot of this right now. Uh, it's necessary for certain structures to dissolve before they can evolve to the next place. And uh, we can see this in emotional structures. We can see this in beliefs. The way that changing beliefs works is that challenge to that that is impactful enough to sort of weaken the legs of that belief, to uh, weaken its stronghold, and then there's room for more evidence that weakens that belief and ultimately that belief crumbles in the in the process of its crumbling it potentially may leave a void that then can be filled by a new belief or a new perception and it's a game that we're going to play with ourselves to empower us to embrace the breakdown. I'm not saying seek it necessarily, but to embrace the breakdown as 
an opening as a process, as the fire that we go through to uh, cure the steel of, of the sword that we carry forward in, in life to, um, to challenge us and, and, uh, and strengthen us. So breakdown is a path to breakthrough and it's also a passage that enriches our resilience and deepens our wisdom if we use it properly. So it's so important to not get caught in the breakdown as the reality. I know the tendency can be when you're in the midst of um, disappointment or or it feels like the world around you is falling apart. Uh, the tendency is to make that the reality and project that forward as if it is going to be that way forever. You know, when we go through moods and upsets in our lives. And what I'm inviting you to do is to recognize that moment as simply a moment that not to make it pervasive, not to extend it into your experience of every corner of your life. And from there, recognize that you are in the process of generating a new experience, a new reality, and most likely new perspectives. So rather than making the breakdown the reality, come to the recognition that it's actually your existing reality breaking down to make room for the next emergence. And we want we want to honor all parts of ourselves in this new paradigm that we're creating as we're moving into uh, the opportunity to create a new world and to take deeper and greater responsibility for our creation. We want to embrace all aspects of ourselves Good morning, Lisa Phillips. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, we're talking about breakdown and breakthrough and really embracing all aspects of our experience. I think uh, societally we have been conditioned to reject our emotions, reject our experiences, reject the parts of ourselves that we don't uh, feel are optimal and rather than trying to overpower those parts or suppress those experiences or um, or strong arm ourselves into transformation the new the new paradigm is to welcome and embrace and experience and allow the movement and the transformation to occur and create a whole, a holistic experience of ourselves, of each other, of the world, of life. And it's as we expand to include all of that, that we embody our awakening. Good morning, C Sue Seacoff. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. So as we learn to accept the shadow, so we've moved from breakdown to uh, challenging parts of ourselves rather than f moving with oppression or trying to kill off those parts of ourselves, what we're doing is looking at how we can embrace and allow what is to be. 
because it's in allowing life as it emerges it's our own emotional experience whether it's what's going on in the world when we allow things to be as they are then and only then do we have the opportunity to transform those things so there's a comment here I love that you're approaching breakdown as an in-between space, a liminal space. I love that word, liminal space. In fact, uh, that's going to be uh, the topic for our um, one of our broader edge broadcasts. Not this one. This one tomorrow is going to be about finding your tribe, but the next one is going to be about liminal space. Um, and I'm just going to continue reading this quote, this uh, entry here. So, breakdown as an in-between space, a liminal space that is honored, accepted, and that soon transitions into transformation. Exactly. So, we get in the core connection work that I do. One of the things that has come to be very, very important in creating transformation is looking at the edges. Looking at the edges between, um, for instance, good and bad. Looking at the edges between uh, pleasure and pain. Looking at the edges between the, the objects even that we might perceive because there is magic in the edges where seemingly separate things meet that's the transition point that's the point of awareness and awakening somehow and breakdown is one of those what we're declaring as breakdown is one of those transition spaces and if we can recognize it as, uh, as such we can honor it and honor ourselves through the process so that we don't resist it and embed the dynamics of it more deeply, which then exacerbates the whole circumstance. So this is the case, and, and I, I keep saying this over and over, but it's, it's such an important thing to understand that when we feel sad, let's feel sad. Let's not make stories up about why we're feeling sad, for instance. Try and justify it and explain it. And let's just allow the feeling. And when we allow the feeling, then it gives it the ability to move. This is the case not only with emotions, but even with pain, physical pain, that it's very effective to be present to it without resisting it. And if you can do that long enough to follow it and be present with it, it often dissipates. And I believe that that is part of the case with social circumstance, to be present to what's really there rather than getting caught up in, um, in making it projecting it forward, reacting to it, uh, responding with fear, etc., etc. As we are present, then we are able to respond. As we are present and allow ourselves to transition through what we're moving through, then we, uh, there's a flow that is unimpeded. So back around breakdown to breakthrough and if we look at what's happening in our world right now there's massive breakdown and my deep 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 conviction is that the breakdown that we're per perceiving is essential for the massive breakthrough to a new humanity to a new way of being on the planet to a new relationship with ourselves and one another, to a new awakening of consciousness. So old structures right now are breaking down. 
old structures are are dissolving and we can embrace this breakdown as painful as it may be and recognize the potential on the other side of it. So with that, I'm going to invite you to check out the other wonderful programming on Enlightened World Network and be sure to set aside some time tomorrow, Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Enlightened World Network's Facebook page to see the second broadcast of The Broader Edge, which is a podcast that I have the privilege of co-hosting with three other wonderful women. Um, Liz Williams, Sheila Cash, and Terry Angel. And uh, we're having conversations about things that matter and uh, things that are supporting us all in shaping the new world that we're creating as we live into it. So I appreciate so much your being with me here today. Lots of love, lots of compassion, and I hope you'll come back and join me tomorrow.